if you really want to write a good song, you really got to think about it. If you want to write a song and have fun, that's cool, but I'm like kind of super driven to try to do something great. It's important because seven out of ten people, so three people would prefer abstract and seven of them would prefer things that they can understand. Yeah, yeah, because that's how you relate, that's how you relate. That allows to you to put break dance, because you already put DJ, you can put graffiti as well. Cut, swing, hit.
to make money, I'm telling you how to make money. It's not about what you really want to do. I want to make money. I want to make a hit song. You only need one. After that, you're getting residuals. You know what I mean? And at least maybe if you try, every time you write a song, because it's all about the numbers, then one of them's going to be a hit song. Yeah, we can do this shit. But quite frankly, I'm not impressed with my shit, and I'm, I'm not impressed with the flow. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah. We can do this shit, this but we shit. can do it with a catchy flow, like super catchy flow, like super this shit. Super catchy flow, yeah. So <laughs> the thing is, how do you write a catchy flow without flowing it? <laughs> Hard to collaborate. If it was you writing it, you'd write your catchy flow verse, and then you'd do the same flow on your next verse. Because it's hard to tell a story and have it sound natural when you're trying to follow a flow. It's hard to do that. But that's why it makes it a good song if you can do it. What makes it a good song is you be you and I'll be me. So I'm gonna do my flow the way I feel it at the moment and put my heart out there when you when, when I spit it and you're gonna do the same. That's what's gonna be a good song. Now be sure to tune in for next week's Friday collabs. Here's the sneak peek. <laughs> It's not about the music you make, you know what I'm saying? It's about...